Hello, my name is Kevin. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with OSC in Sensor Music, you sign Hollyhock. So here I have my phone. I have preloaded an application Touch OSC, which is one of the many applications that use OSC to communicate between softwares and devices on the same network. So both my phone and the computer that USign is currently running on are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. But as you'll see, currently OSC is not yet configured on the phone. So we're going to go into the settings and the network tab. And here you'll see that OSC is currently active and this needs to be checked. And you can see that this gives us an IP address. It gives us the name of your computer. It gives us an OSC import, which we are able to modify or keep. In this case, we're going to keep it at 2002. And these two numbers here are very important. And we're going to input these into the settings for the phone. So, here we go. You can see that the host and the IP address here are identical, and the port outgoing is equivalent to the OSC in port in USign. So, that makes sense because data is going to be coming out of the phone and into USign out of 2002 in to 2002 or whatever other port number you prefer. So now that those two numbers are identical, these two devices are now communicating with each other. But how do we check that? So let's open up a workspace and let's also get this going. So here you can see the interface. Um, you can see some faders, you can see some switches, you can see an XY pad here. Um, yours may vary, but nevertheless, each of these faders, switches, um, they all will be sending OSC messages to USign. So let's see what's going on under the hood. So let's click Trace OSC in Messages from the Network tab. And let's move a few of these and see what ends up happening. Okay, so here you can already see that the trace box is highlighting every time I move or interact here. And also, if you look carefully up here, you'll see that this LED is also lighting up every time I move one of these faders, etc. And this up here is the OSC in LED. Every time USign receives an OSC message, this LED will light up. Below it is the OSC out LED. And as USign is not currently sending out any OSC, this is going to be inactive for this tutorial. And let's click here on trace and see what's actually happening. So here we can see that fader one is moving. This is giving us the address for that fader. So it's saying, okay, it's, there's data being sent. It's OSC, it's coming in via this address. And this is the address for that particular fader. So dash one dash fader one. Uh, this is fader 2, fader 3, fader 4, and xy, um, toggle, so on, so on. Okay, so with that, we can turn off trace. And let's add in a very useful module. This one is called... OSC Lister found here, and in we go. 
Great, okay, so again, this lister is a module that alphabetically organizes all the OSC addresses that you sign receives. So there we go. I can um, clear it and start again. So here, three, one, two, three, more. Um, okay, so all the addresses from this device have been listed here. And we can now use this and Make some knobs. So a knob for each of the faders. And you can see those here. So fader one, fader two, fader three, fader four. Uh, let's also make an XY. So here we go. And one of these. And you can see this also moving like so. So everything's working perfectly. Uh, what we're going to do now is show how to make an OSC learn happen. Uh, here I have the audio coming through. So this is me speaking in. It's coming through here. We're going to add a bunch of effects here. So let's add a new rack. Let's bring the audio into that rack. And let's make sure it's coming through here. Okay, uh-huh. And then here we can start adding in various effects. So let's put in a... Delay, uh, like that. Let's put Let's in put a distortion. Resonator filter. And let's add in a pitch shifter also here. Okay, so we have all of these effects, one, two, three, four, happening in parallel. Um, right, so what we're going to do now is click on the MIDI OSC Learn button, and now we can assign various knobs to particular faders or controls here. Um, okay, so we're going to click here. We're going to assign this to fader one. There we go. And assign this here to fader two, for example. Okay, we can assign this here to a switch. There, on and off. On and off. Okay, so we've got that working. And let's assign this here to this fader here and okay so you see now here is something interesting going on let's turn off the midi learn and take a look at uh, this pitch shifter here so i'm right clicking that to bring up the options and you can see that the minimum is minus 24 the maximum is 24 but this is only giving zero to one so let's go to the MIDI OSC options here. You can see here that the address is from fader four, fader four, and you can see currently it's set to real value, which in this case, this fader here is outputting zero at to one and nothing more than that. But if we then change this to this in zero to one, then this now becomes the entire gamut. So it's now scaled to negative 24, 24. And now we can freely play. 
play with each of these effects, um, totally with multi touch, and um, all in real time. So great. That concludes this tutorial.